Welcome to Learnpedia, the ultimate JEM need prep tool that is currently being used by over 20,000 aspirants. Let's see if you can answer this actual JE question. If you think you got the answer, then post it in the comment section below. Okay. To understand the concept behind this question, watch the video that follows. So first, we'll talk about the Young's modulus of elasticity, which is the case when we take stress as longitudinal stress and the longitudinal strain. For example, here we have a wire of say length L and there is a block of mass say M or any mass. We are not going to use this basically. Okay, so because of this weight, some tension would be generated in this rod or in this wire. And because of that, what happens, there will be a corresponding change in the length of this wire. Okay, so here as you can see that because of this force applied F, there is a corresponding change in length. So what should be the longitudinal strain? Longitudinal strain in this case would be change in length divided by the original length L. And if suppose F force is applied, then we are assuming that same tension is generated inside the rod or inside this wire. So same tension is generated everywhere as we can safely neglect the mass of this thin wire. So if A is the cross section, then corresponding longitudinal stress would be applied force divided by the cross section area. So here Young's modulus is defined as longitudinal stress divided by longitudinal strain. As we know that longitudinal stress sometimes known as normal stress also because the force is applied perpendicular to the cross section. As in case of shear stress, we know that force is applied parallel to the cross section. But in case of longitudinal stress, it is applied normal to the surface. That is why it is also known as normal stress. So longitudinal stress or the normal stress, whatever, divided by the longitudinal strain, which is change of length divided by the original length. Here, it may be a case of compression also. It doesn't matter. Equation is valid in both the situations, whether it is a case of tensile stress or the compressive stress. So Young's modulus is equal to normal stress divided by longitudinal strain. So it is FL divided by A delta L. So in general, that is how the Young's modulus of elasticity can be defined. Okay. Hey there, hope you understood the concept. Here's the answer to the question that was asked in the beginning. Found this video useful? Hit the like and share buttons to enjoy more such videos. Learnpedia's JE and Need Prep tools contain over 4,000 videos and over 20,000 questions. You can access them online through our website or offline through an SD card or a pen drive. To buy now, visit www.learnpedia.in. You can also try a free demo of the product before buying.